overclock your dead zone with this one setting, anti-dead zone buffer. So you can find the setting inside Steam input or slash Steam configuration. And uh, if you go into the joystick settings, which is if you click here and go edit layout, joysticks, uh, right joystick behavior for Apex Legends. And if you play Rockley, you can do this for the left joystick behavior. So to overclock your dead zone, um, so first you need to dead zone type custom. You can choose whatever you want, but I'm choosing custom with zero to hundred. So zero dead zone here and 100 maximum size, maximum stick size. And the dead zone shape circle. And um, yeah, you have to choose custom here. Yeah, custom and the dead zone shape, you can choose whatever you want. So now you have to enable this show advanced dead zone option, enable. And, um, and actually to enable Steam input, you go to here, settings, properties, and you can go to the uh, controller tab and make sure this says enable Steam input. And um, yeah, so now, uh, let's go down to the overclocking our dead zone. So this is an idea. This is not actually like like real overclocking, like like, like overclocking the controller polling rate. So what this will do? So this settings here, this setting here, anti dead zone buffer works with this anti dead zone. And what I mean by overclocking is your dead zone inside the game moves like this, moves moves. I would say ten percent. And even if you play inside Apex Legends, like even if you play none, it will move really slow, and which which makes tracking targets really really hard. So the solution is uh, people started to play linear. And uh, linear for me is a no go. I could I like I didn't like linear. So what I did here, the anti dead zone buffer and the anti dead zone. So first, this anti dead zone it makes your game inside like it makes your when you push down your stick when you push your stick right joystick it will move faster. So if you put one thousand here, it will instead of it move ten percent, it will move twenty percent or. 15% or whatever it is. If you put 2000, it will move even more. It will move faster even more. So this is not a sensitivity thing. This is a dead zone. This is not a sensitivity. This is a dead zone and the dead zone is really important. So if you have a stiff dead zone, you, you basically cannot aim because your dead zone is so stiff and you cannot tra track targets better. And I mean, maybe if the target just moving in a straight line, you can maybe track it. But if the target goes right and then it goes left, it's gonna be really hard. And also, it's going to be really hard to control recoil if you play with a regular controller. Like, uh, if you, I, I mean, unless you're playing with a pro controller, maybe you can um, do good even on the regular dead zone. So, so what? So I explained the setting anti dead zone. It accelerates your dead zone speed. Uh, let's say it will overclock your dead zone speed. So instead, it, uh, instead of your in-game dead zone moves one percent or five percent at a time, it will move ten percent. It will move twenty percent. Depends on the number here. So if you put two thousand, it will move even faster. If you put three thousand, it will move faster. And uh, this is the good thing. The bad thing, if you use this setting, it, it will cause drift. So if you put three thousand here, the drift is is a bit like a lot noticeable, but. Uh, it's still manageable, but if you put 3,500 or 4,000, the drift is going to be a lot. I mean, for some people, maybe uh, if they put 1,000, they will notice a lot of drift. Yeah, so the fix, uh, to fix, like, uh, to overclock your dead zone and to fix the drift, you can use this anti-dead zone buffer. This setting right here is insane. It's really, really good for aiming. So the anti-dead zone buffer works as a wall like it works as a wall so let's say that you put here 1000 and your dead zone moves uh, like 20% uh, faster in game or like 15% faster in game so instead of causing drift there won't be any drift because of this wall that created by buffer. You can call it wall, you can call it buffer, you can call it uh, like uh, a fake dead zone or something. So this a wall created by this anti-dead zone buffer and um, and uh, so there won't be any drift. So when you push down your stick, when you push down your stick to the right side or to the left, it will move really, really good without any drift unless you push down your stick. So, so let's say... Uh, you use 1000 here and you put 1000 here. So right now, if you put 1000 here, your stick will move without any drift. If you put 2000 here, you'll need to push your stick even further to move. Like it will create a fake dead zone. Uh, however, but it's not actually creating, like the movement of your dead zone is is, is gonna be based on here. So if you have 2000 and it w this will create a fake dead zone. So uh, there's gonna be a wall uh, or a buffer. After, after your, your stick, cross this wall, it's gonna move at the speed of this anti-dead zone, whatever you put here. So basically you can create an, an, a really, really good, uh, a really good scenario for aiming here. Um, so yeah, you can, I hope my explanation is easy and clear. So this anti-dead zone buffer works at a wall or a buffer or a delay uh, before uh, protecting you from uh, drift. And um, yeah, so uh, right now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in game. 
and hopefully you can understand how this works. So right now, as you can see here, um, I'm using uh, this here, and uh, I'm using classic none. So my dead zone basically none. However, if, if I disable steam input, my dead zone will move really slow, like I cannot track targets. So as you can see here, right now, um, so if I disable the anti-dead zone buffer, and if I put 4000, let's just test 4000 here, look what's gonna happen. There's a lot of drift. So you see this drift? However, if I if I put, let's say, uh, let's say 2000, let's see what's gonna happen. So there's no drift right now. However, still feels hard to control because 4000 is a lot. Maybe it's easier for you, but um, as you can see here, it's still, still, so it depends on the person, personal preference. You can use whatever you want. You can, with the anti dozion buffer, you can create an insane sensitivity for you. Like, uh, yeah, you can get creative with this. So my uh, my config is I use one. Th I used to use two thousand. I mean three thousand with two thousand five hundred. Yeah, I used to use this like three thousand with two thousand and five hundred, and it felt really really good. Yeah, yeah. Look how 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 good. Like the desert moves really fast, but also really slow. Allows for look how twitchy it is without any drift. And I can track targets really, really good. And then I went from this to one to one thousand, one thousand, and another one thousand. So what this will do, like my dead zone is gonna move one thousand percent. My dead zone speed is one thousand, and also I have an anti dead zone buffer. So there's a a little bit of wall, a little bit of buffer. That, but it feels so responsive though. It feels so responsive because of the 1000 anti dead zone and the the wall of the anti dead zone buffer is acting really really good. Yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, I mean, you can use 2000 to make the dead zone even faster. Let's see what's gonna happen. 2000 with 1000. Yeah. So now, as you can see, yeah, still no drift, and it's moving faster now. As you can see. So you can look out which it is if i leave it's gonna stop if i move it it's gonna move so it, this is really really good to track targets and you can hit long range shots look i can put it easily here without any drift i'm gonna put it on the the this red thing there and you, as you can see i can put it easily and i can twitch it also so i hope this like um, the idea of um, overclocking your dead zone is uh, clear and uh, if you disable steam input your dead zone it's gonna be like this, it's gonna move so slow and I mean for me it makes target tracking and target uh, snapping to targets really hard. I uh, I played it in the past and um, I always I always hated it, like I played it in the past but I always hated it. So now the steam dead zone is really, is really good, the steam anti dead zone buffer uh, which acts as the wall is, is also insane, like I love the the, the technology of, of it like it's really good so um, yeah this is so this is basically not like using small dead zone or non dead zone so this is basically just accelerating your dead zone speed and creating a buffer a wall a delay uh, that will use the the accelerated speed yeah so I hope you guys understand that this is different than using uh, any dead zone inside the game and uh, yeah so I hope everything is clear and uh, if you have any problem, you can comment and I will help you guys.